Ever wonder how you can make cool animated text on your videos like this? Keep watching. Welcome to day 24 of content repurposing tutorials where I'm sharing with you 30 days of time-saving content ideas for all of you busy creators out there. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make animated text on your videos using Canva and CapCut. We're gonna start by opening up the Canva app and then we're gonna press the plus button and we are looking for anything that's like an Instagram story, which is 1080 by 1920. Now, once we have this, what we're gonna to wanna to do is press on the background and I'm gonna change the color to green, like green, green. And we're gonna start there because later on you'll understand why. What we're gonna do next is press this plus button and we can either add some plain text with heading and change it to our brand, or we can look at some of the templates that we have down here. And I like this one, so let's start with this. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap on it to customize it and I press edit and I'm gonna change this to happy holidays. All right, and then press done. And we can go to the second part of this and you can either ungroup it and delete it if you don't want to or continue to modify it. Once you've changed the text to the way that you like it, you can continue to customize it by just pressing on it. If you wanna change the font and continue to experiment to see what else looks good, you have that option. What I'm gonna do next is go ahead and change the font color. So I'm gonna tap on it slide over, press color, and then I'm gonna change it to white. I also need to change the secondary one, so I'll click on that, slide over, color, change that to white as well. I'm also going to make it a little bit bigger to fill up the frame a little bit more. I don't mind it being in the middle, that's great. And then I'm also going to be adding in a picture. So we'll go right to the plus sign, and I'm gonna scroll over to my brand, where I've already uploaded some transparent pictures of me, so I'll go here, Click this one right here. Now we're just gonna find a place for it here. Make sure it's at the very bottom. Great. Make it a little bit larger, so I fill up a little bit more of the frame. We have our text and our picture. Now it's time to animate. So I'm gonna click on this text right here, and I'm gonna scroll over to animate. I'll press animate. We have lots of different options here. You can press on these and play around with them to see what you like. What I'm going to do today is this is all, then there's tools. You can actually create your own animation. I'll go over that in another video. There are basic ones like we just saw, rise and everything like that. You have writing where it's typing it up. You have exaggerated where it will just do different things, play around with it. What I like are motion effects because this will kind of linger a little bit longer. I'm going to press pulse and you'll see how it kind of pulses in and out. One of the things that you want to take note of if you press one of these and you don't want it is you can press on it and you can change the intensity, but if you don't like it, you can also remove the animation. This is one that you can also like literally combine them. So you can have it flicker and you can have it pulse if you want it to. But once again, if you don't want both of them on there, just click on it and press remove animation. I'm gonna press on the second part of this here and I'm also going to add an animation and a motion effect and I'm gonna do wiggle. I don't like that very much or I wanna change the intensity and I'll just make it wiggle just a little bit and maybe for happy holidays, I will also modify that intensity a little bit as well. So if, if you ever wanna modify the intensity and you can't find it, right next to effects, the scrapbook, it just shows you what actual motion effects, so that's why you won't see animate anymore. So it's pulsing, I think I'm just going to lower this down a little bit more, just so we have some moving effects, but it's not too intense, but it's gonna make people like, you know, queasy or something like that. Okay, great. So now that that's set, I can also animate my picture. So we'll go over here and slide over, and we'll choose animate. Maybe I want my photo just to zoom in or come down, but let's find a nice animation that will match what we got going on here. I'll have it rise up, I like that. And remember, we have most of the same opportunities that we have for the text for the picture as well. So I have that, so let's give it a play and watch it. Awesome. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we can download this because now it is a video since we animated the text and the picture. So we'll press on this up arrow and we're going to download and you wanna download an MP4. Download, this is what the downloaded version will look like in your phone.
Great, now what we're gonna do is head on over to CapCut to further customize. So we're here in CapCut and we're gonna start a new project. What I want you to do is bring in some former media, something that you can have as a background and then we're gonna overlay what we just did. So I'll start a new project and I'm going to find a video. Let's use this one right here and I'm gonna press add. And then what we're gonna do is we are going to go to overlay. Add overlay and we're adding that last video that we did, which is right here. We press it and we can just press add. Now we have this overlay. I'm gonna go ahead from now and, go, and resize it. So make sure that it's tapped. I'm gonna click on it and then pinch up to make sure that it's filling the frame. Now what we're gonna do for this is go to cut out and we are gonna do chroma key and we're gonna select the green. After we've selected the green, you'll see that the green is what's selected by the outline. We're gonna press intensity and make this intensity go up some until all the green disappears from the back. But don't make it too much because then everything else will start to disappear. But once you see that big green, that's why we chose a nice bright green. Once we see that go away, we can press the check button and then be done there. What I'm noticing a little bit is that I'm not filling all of the frames. So I'll just go a little bit bigger, but now we have this here. Now we can check to see how it looks. Great. And what we can do is we can make this first clip right here shorter by clicking on it and splitting it, deleting the second half. We also wanna make sure that it's muted if you don't need the sound from the back. So you can just click on it and press this volume button and you can bring it down or you could have just pressed mute over there. So now that we have this, we can also click in the background here if we wanna lower the opacity so that the animation in the picture can be seen a little bit better. We're gonna scroll all the way down until we see opacity and just lower the opacity just a little bit more. After we've done that, we can go ahead and export that video, save it to our device, then head on over to Instagram to upload it. Press the plus button, make sure that you're on real, press your video right here, press next, and then next again. And once again, other ways that you can further customize this is by adding music and other stickers and things of that nature. So what we learned in this video was a pretty simple way to utilize Canva to be able to animate our text and videos. Export it with a green screen, we can take it over into CapCut to add as an overlay over some footage that we already have in our phone. Once we remove that green screen, we have the opportunity to export and add it to Instagram as a new reel. I'd love for you to comment below with other ways that you customize your reels. It's hard to believe that we have less than a week left in this 30 day series, but it will always be here for you to enjoy. So please go ahead and like and subscribe for more tutorials like these.